This is the story of an augmented reality game we developed for an archaeology museum in the south of Germany. To frame this story about a story, it is fitting to start with an observation about language. In English, we have two distinct words, story and history. In German, however, there is only one, Geschichte. Sometimes the meaning becomes apparent in context. But inside an archaeology museum, the border between story and history is often unclear. The truth of history cannot be recovered, especially in the case of cultures that left no writing behind. And the artifacts that survived long enough to reach us look at us from behind the glass in silence. However, for the truly curious, they sometimes begin to whisper and then speak about the beauty of civilizations long gone. At Numina, we use technology to amplify the whisper. For the secret excavation, we pulled all stops to achieve this. Characters, interactive dialogue, philosophical musings, puzzles, alleged crimes, and secrets that span two and a half millennia are all here. If your interest is awakened, keep listening. Any good story starts with facts. What are the facts here? This is Magdalenenberg. It's a tumulus or a burial mound about a mile away from Willingen-Schwenningen, a town in the south of Germany. It is considered the largest tumulus of the Celtic period in Central Europe. The Prince of Magdalenenberg was the leader of a wealthy settlement of prehistoric German Celts and he was buried in the center of this tumulus, surrounded by over 200 of his followers. The prince's tomb, while robbed of its most precious possessions and carelessly excavated in the late 1800s, received proper attention between 1970 and 1973 from famous German archeologist Konrad Spindler. The heavy oak beams of the tomb, dated to 616 BC, were transported and reassembled inside a very special room at the Franciscana Museum, along with any remaining objects. This is the room where the action in our story will take place. Now tasked with telling the story of the Magdalenenberg, we found ourselves asking questions that have no clear answers. What was this guy like? What did he do all day? Why did he like objects with circles on them? Why was he a fan of ducks? What did he see when he looked up at the starry sky? And why, in God's name, did his people spend five years building a gigantic pile of dirt in which they buried themselves with their most precious possessions? In archaeology, everything starts with a close look at the objects, a very close look. Yes, that small and dark piece of something. And it doesn't look like much, does it? That's what we thought as well. But with a bit of work, it turned out to be something quite beautiful. The puzzles in our game are all simplified versions of actual archaeological methods, which even took a shot at dendrochronology, the science of dating a piece of wood based on rings and their place inside a dendrochronological calendar. Collect a sample, match the rings, and you got an exact date. For some species of trees, Europe has tree ring data that goes back 10,000 years. Mind blown. But back to the story. So our museum visitors are standing here in the Magdalenenberg room, holding miraculous 21st century devices capable of so much. Let's make sure things get interesting. Your tablet is hacked. A chat window pops up and you have no choice but to talk to someone who identifies herself as Dr. Wagner. She is a former museum researcher whose work is not done yet. She wants you to help a piece of software pre-installed on the tablet you are holding. Learn as much as possible about archaeological methods and the German Celts. Everything goes well for a while until someone new enters the chat. There is no profile picture, but the name tag reads, The Prince. You are confused, but Dr. Wagner is elated, at least at start. 
The prince in the chat begins to give you orders. He wants you to go look at particular items and search for particular things. Oh yes, yes, he wants you to help him reconstruct his tomb. But things take a strange turn. The two of them begin to argue. She thinks you are in danger. He calls her a criminal. You are confused, but you need to pick a side now. Oh, you really need to see how that turns out by yourself. I need to stay out of it. But here are some facts we can use to orient ourselves. Good evidence indicates that the prince's tomb has been plundered. There is also speculation among archaeologists that the German Celts believed in the afterlife and that the objects they were buried with were meant to help them during their journey. So the prince was right. Did he really need to reconstruct everything so he can rest in peace? There is also speculation that some Celts believed in taking their family and friends with them on the journey to the afterlife, willingly or not. So was Dr. Wagner right? Did your friendly help for the prince Whoever or whatever he might be put you in danger? A visit to a museum is as much about history as it is about story making. None of our characters say the ultimate truth and certainly not the 3D reconstructions. This is a game about perspectives and the beauty of switching from one to another over time spans that far exceed our own lives. If you enjoyed this little story, Share this with a friend. We have many more stories to tell. If you do as well, let's have a chat.